Hello everyone, our today's topic is 6 steps to formulate research problem. So let's uh, have a look what is actually a research problem and how we can define the research problem. Research problem is uh, basically any specific issue, uh, any contradiction or a gap in the knowledge that uh, you uh, aim to address in your research. So your research problem can be any practical problem uh, aiming to contribute a change or it can be any theoretical problem uh, aimed uh, to expanding knowledge. So. Uh, now come to the point that how we can formulate research problem stepwise. So uh, there are six steps which I will be discussing uh, for formulation of the research problem. The first step is identify a uh, broad subject area. So first uh, you should think about the subject area of your interest and uh, after giving a thorough thought you should identify the field in which you um, uh, would like to work and um, broad spectrum it will help you to get an interesting research topic uh, so after identification of a broad spectrum research area uh, you should move towards the second step which is dissection of the broad spectrum subject area should dissect and uh, divide the broad spectrum study area into the um, small sub areas and uh, after dissect, uh, dissecting or uh, dividing you should write down the sub areas for your categorization and uh, listing and uh, then you should discuss uh, these uh, sub areas with your supervisor for the specification of the sub area which can be of your interest so till yet uh, first point was the identification and the second step was the dissection of the broad uh, spectrum subject area the third one is narrow down to the subject uh, specific research area or the topic so uh, from the sub areas which you have uh, identified from the first two steps you should um, narrow down to uh, the specific area or the topic depending upon your expertise uh, available resources uh, available uh, in the laboratory or the field study for your research and uh, time span of the research study next uh, as already uh, you have uh, narrowed down to your specific research topic now you should uh, raise the maximum number of the research questions around that uh, subject area or the research topic so um, uh, after you are able to raise the maximum uh, research question you should list down all the possible research question and then you should practice the uh, elimination from those listed research question what elimination will do it will uh, help you in the identification of your specific research question which will help in the defining the focus of your study and uh, focus of your research question in this way uh, um, through the process of the elimination you will be able to uh, identify a specific research uh, uh, problem and specific research question so as you have uh, identified a specific research problem so next step will be the assessment of uh, the objectives uh, relevant to that specific research problem and uh, checking of these objectives relevant to uh, research problem in the terms of the time budget resources and the technical expertise and uh, then again you should assess the validation of the uh, your research problem in the light of the reality and uh, you should review all the steps uh, uh, done till yet and finally you should formulate the research problem according to your goals and research objectives in this way by following these simple six steps you can formulate your research problem thank you